I'm sorry, but your brother is a hottie. That is gross on so many levels. You failed your English test. You speak English, don't you? Very goodly. Someone newer than me? Yeah, she's quite a babe. I wonder how long before Derek hits on her. Please, you're just as pretty. And I don't care what Derek does, and I don't think you should either. I don't. Oh, come on. That was barely 10 seconds. Oh, uh, hey, Casey, do you have any clean bras? Oh, uh, no bra talk while I'm eating, please. I'm sorry, Edwin. I need to borrow a sock. Uh, Mom, I don't think my sock would fit your feet. Nora, if you need any socks, listen, I got a whole drawer full of them. I don't suppose you'd like some eggs. Yeah. Oh, hey. Ah. And Boys, you have these coasters. I'll call them on Friday, I promise. George? Just on top of the fridge, I think. Are you even listening to me? No! Hi, I'm uh, Paul Greeby. Paul Creepy? You're pretty. Thank you, sweetie. And you do have big you know what. I'm sorry about that. Oh. This is your new home. No, it's George, Derek, Edwin, and Marty's home. Mom, look around. Lizzie and I are crammed in this room, and it's a three-ring circus in the hallway. Do you really expect me to work out there? I'll talk to George. In the meantime, I doubled their allowance to make up for the mistake. You paid off our kids. Hi. I just need a locker. We're short on lockers. You'll have to share it till one frees up. But I really need my own locker, and it's my first day. Why didn't you say so? Of course you get your own locker. And did you get your welcome to school fruit basket? No, I... There is no fruit basket. Mm -hmm. And I have to share a locker? That's right. Do you even care that you just dyed all our whites? No. Hell, I mean, Edwin's already stuck in attic prison. What, do you want to kick Marty out of her room, too? Hey! No. Are you okay? Not really. You don't feel like you have a fever. I wish I did. I wish the pain of the loss of dignity manifested itself into a raging fever. Maybe you do have a fever. <laughs> well, you know what they say about boys? They're made out of rats and snails and uh, puppy dog tails. And uh, girls, girls are made out of sugar and spice and everything. Nice, right? A nursery rhyme reference? You are so hip with the kids. I try. It looks disgusting. Dad, since when do you cook? We're a family. And a family that eats together. And parfs together? Yeah, more like 7253. Now let's talk interest. <laughs> Not interested. Now out. Oh. We never had this conversation. Got it? Yeah. Uh, you'll pay me back, right? Yeah, sure. Maybe we should hide. Don't worry about it, Lizzie. Teenagers are nothing to be afraid of. Besides, if we're going to become them someday, we need to observe their behavior. You know, like scientists study wild animals on the Nature Channel. Did I ever tell you um, about my car accident story? Because it's pretty funny. Car accident stories usually are. <laughs> Did you flush? <sighs> tell your brother to lay off. He's making it worse. A lot worse. Are you nuts? Tell him yourself. How dare you? Girls are different than boys, you know. Yeah, I found that out the fun way on her old couch. Well, you never minded babysitting Lizzie, and you're so good at it. Okay, Lizzie, get changed, brush your teeth, pick up the felt pens you're drawing with in front of the TV, and get your clothes out for tomorrow. I'll check over your homework, okay? Go. Anything you'd like to say for our wedding video viewers? Sorry, but you're not going to get any sappy quotes about Harry and Fiona from me. But I do have some juicy Casey stories. Really? What was she like as a kid? Two words. Bed wetter. No! Yes. <laughs> Get away from me! Help! You're the king of babes. More like the queen.
queen of babes. Butt out, Corey. You leave my butt out of this. Edwin, I don't care how you do it. Just calm the crowd, and I'll give you my allowance for a month. Deal. If I don't come back, half my stuff goes to you. What about the other half? Could you keep an eye on the purple princess? Sure. Lizzie, can you get that? Um, sure. Just give my side a try. Yeah. See, that's me. Kisa was right. They are making out. George, are you crying? Not from the wedding. Oh, from the pain. Three, two, one. Huh. Must be something wrong with my watch. I am so sorry I'm late. Uh, George, can we talk about something? Not now, honey. It's a genius at work. <laughs> Whoops! You didn't see that. <laughs> oh, I wish I hadn't. Can you pick up the pace? We're gonna be late. I can't go any faster. I'm already known as a klutz. You'll be fine. Just go. Oh! Oh! Okay, you know what? Don't worry. Nobody saw that. Okay? Except Sam. Sam? Edwin seems pretty clean to me. Clean? He's been wearing the same shirt for three weeks. Really? It's embarrassing at school. Lizzie! I think I got your lunch by mistake! Oh no. Lizzie! I have no idea who that is. Or what that smell is. Take, for example, the reading we were supposed to do for French. There was reading? We. Oui. And I didn't do it. Even if there is a quiz. There's a quiz? We're behind you 100%. Thanks, Lizzie. Because you increased our allowances 100%. Judge me later. Lizzie! Something weird happened in the bathroom. Too much information, Edwin. I, I need information, too. I mean, I'm not even sure if what I know is what I know, you know? No, what exactly do you know? Uh, one, Bieber. Two, money. Three, Edwin at high school. I mean, it all adds up to something, but I'm wondering what. I'm wondering what we're talking about. Casey, if you're in any sort of trouble... Exactly! What are we talking about? I mean, maybe I'm jumping to conclusions. I should just confront this person directly. Like an intervention. Thanks, Paul. Anytime. Still wearing the same shirt, I see. Yep. I sure how that he wore a dress. Yeah! You're making sure someone's on time? Hello, Irony. Remember when you showed up to my birthday party a week late? With a gift I already had? Classic, Casey. <laughs> I was nine. Were you still wetting the bed? <laughs> what? Mm. Well, hello there, Derek. How was the babysitting? Uh, good. And uh, how was the play? Oh, it was great. And this is? I'm really embarrassed. I'm going to go now. Uh, where are they, anyway? Uh, I, I don't know. George picked them up from school. Mm -hmm. No. You picked them up from school. <laughs> George! How much brain power does it take to remember to pick up two kids from school? Of the 14 billion brain cells human beings have, six. Well, I appreciate you sticking by me. It must be hard to be friends with someone so unpopular. It is. Not hard at all. <laughs> well, at least the teachers like me. Hi, Miss Petrucci. Don't worry, Casey. I've already changed your grade on the self-portrait assignment. Your A minus is now an A. Thank you. Hey, just playing hide and seek. With who? Myself. Oh well, I hope you find yourself. We have a problem. Another one? Did I hear something about a problem? Mom, you look awful. Are you getting this? Oh, yeah. This is a sign. Miss Mary, don't say it. <laughs> we'll go to my hairdresser and she will undo bills due. Now grab your purse, grab your dress, and let's go. Guys, we'll see you at the church in two hours. Who knew watching you fail would be so much fun? Oh, I did. She's an environmentalist vegetarian who volunteers with kids. You're a toxic waste carnivore who torments kids. You just like her because she's got a big chest. Oh, you know, I, I didn't notice her chest. Now, her breasts on the Derek. other Marty, did you take the tickets? Marty took the tickets? I'm making art. <gasps> Marty, Marty, no! 
Buddy, where are the tickets? I made Casey a get well picture. Like it? No. Not me. And what's wrong with a female mailman? Male woman? Male person? Nothing, especially since she's a hottie. Totally hot. Do you mean that pretty blonde woman? I didn't notice. Blue couch? It's not blue. It's indigo. What's indigo? It's girl talk for blue. Well, maybe we just need to give it a chance. I mean, the girls did put a lot of work into redecorating. What is this behind me? Is this like a big pillow or what? I am seeing a lot more Casey than I usually do. I know, but this oh is how Bay Braider dresses. Um, I don't know how to break this to you, but you're not Bay Braider. And I know you're using this to say something bad about the game for your media presentation. Actually, I'm using it to say something good about Bay Braider. It's an empowering outfit. I've opened my mind. Are you sure about that? Aren't you just asking for stupid comments from guys? That's their problem, not you're mine. Good. Dude, your stepsister is... Don't you dare finish that sentence. And nobody's expecting you to take control. So where do we start? I, I don't want to go to the stupid wedding or your stupid wedding reception. I'm going to my room. You don't live here. I'm going to your room. Upstairs on the right. <sighs> And what is she wearing? That outfit is like skin tight. That cannot be comfortable. I know, she should just take it off. Oh, yes. My heart says one thing, my head says another thing. And now I sound like a cheesy love song. It sounds very cool. We're all feminists here. Right, George? Of course we are. Just be clear. What exactly do you think I'm doing? I think you're selling drugs at school. Yeah, that's what I thought you thought. Are you nuts? How stupid do you think I am, okay? Give me bug me, so I give him the old one, too. Oh, Marty, that's terrible. You never hit anyone. But Jimmy's a doofus. Mm, Marty, upstairs now. You're mean. I'm sure Marty's very sorry. No, I'm not. You don't like me, do you? That's not true. Well, I guess I could swing this as an accident if there is something in it for me. A gift of some kind? Hey, name your price. I pay you no say, huh? Of course I'm broke, so it'll have to be something I already have. But whatever you want. Just don't connect my name to your ankle. My pain, my game. Me, clean. Me, work with Derek. Is that a problem? Not for me. You? Can't wait. Done. So, everyone has their duties? <laughs> duties. <laughs> if I ever get a chance to talk to Sam alone, I'll make sure I jump him. Uh, have you seen Casey? Marty found her books under the sofa. She found them? Yeah. Oh, what's going on? I just spoke to Emily. Demi won't come out from under his bed. Oh, now it's official. We're the next door neighbors from hell. We're not that bad. I think it's really cute. Just a pure bum head. Thanks for trying, Lizzie. Marty's not very good in the morning. Really not much better at night.